Street Fighter has recently had its 30th anniversary and is a timeless fighting franchise when it comes to fighting games. It really paved the way for modern 2D fighting games and the Street Fighter franchise of course is one of my favorite things. As you guys know, I recently picked up this which is the Street Fighter 2 re-release for the Super Nintendo to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Street Fighter. But I just saw something online that was just announced that's absolutely amazing. Capcom is doing something good. Capcom is doing something smart. Capcom is piggybacking off of this Mega Man success and they're like, hey, you know, we have good franchises. Let's do something with it. And they just announced the Street Fighter 30th anniversary collection for the PS4, the Xbox One, the Nintendo Switch, and the PC. And oh my God, there's so many freaking games. I'm in heaven. The Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection is coming to the PS4, is coming to the Xbox One, is coming to Steam, and most importantly, it's coming to the Nintendo Switch, which means you can play it anywhere you go. So this collection looks really robust too. There are tons of games on here. There are 12 Street Fighter games on this one either cartridge or disc, depending how you get it. And the roster is amazing. So the roster of games consists of the following games. You have Street Fighter, you have Street Fighter 2, you have Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, you have Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, you have Super Street Fighter 2 The Final Challengers, you have Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which is arguably one of the best versions of the game. Then you also have Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 3 Second Impact, and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Yes, you're getting all 12 of these games on one disc or on one cartridge and honestly that is just amazing that's really fan service by Capcom you know they've seemed to milk the Street Fighter franchise for quite a while now obviously Ultra Street Fighter 2 the final challengers on the Nintendo Switch was a bit of a cash cow you know it was a bit of a cash grab on the Nintendo Switch but it was still a game that I really enjoyed because I love the Street Fighter series and Street Fighter 2 is arguably the best in the franchise for me but adding in these other games adding in the alpha games which I love playing on the Sega Saturn because that's really the best way to play those games in my my opinion as far as home consoles are concerned it's going to be nice to be able to play these games all on one thing the addition of street fighter 3 which was huge on the dreamcast that's another great thing you know another system that's really underutilized i felt was the dreamcast of course and that was the best way to play those games was on the dreamcast so having arcade perfect ports of all of these games on the nintendo switch on the ps4 on the xbox one is super impressive like that's awesome you're getting 12 freaking games for the price of one arguably even if this is a 60 dollar collection at 12 games that's only five bucks per game and i think anyone you know with common sense can really realize hey this is a good value now there will be online in a couple of the games as well so you're going to have online in Street Fighter 2 Hyper Edition, you're going to have online in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, you're going to have online in Street Fighter Alpha 3, and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. So there's four games that will have online multiplayer. You're going to have leaderboards, lobby system, and all that stuff. So once again, that's pretty cool. You know, you're getting arguably the best versions of those games. Uh, in the Street Fighter realm for their respective categories, and you're going to be able to play those online. I think that's going to be a whole lot of fun. I really hope the net code is pretty solid on it because fighting games are just fun to play online, and the fact that you can play these games online with people you know, all over the world on your respective platforms is really cool. I'm really interested to see how they handle the Nintendo Switch version of the game as well, because obviously that's my preferred platform to play on. And the fact that you're going to be able to play these 12 Street Fighter games anywhere you go, anywhere you know, you bring your Switch with you. It's just amazing. It's really interesting to see Capcom embracing their past finally, because for a long time, we've wanted Capcom to do things like this. We've wanted, you know, proper Street Fighter compilations, and they used to do it. Like, the PS2 had a lot of great compilations. The PS2 Xbox, they had that Street Fighter compilation disc that was really good. They used to do these things all the time, and then just as time went on, they figured they could just milk these things one by one. So the fact that they're putting 12 games from all different sorts of Street Fighters, from Street Fighter 2, from the Alpha series, from Street Fighter 3, just shows that maybe they're realizing that fan service is more important at this day and age. Fan service is what will make fans 
by the games. And this obviously is super good fan service. Like I said, these are gonna be arcade perfect ports according to Capcom. So there's gonna be a high level of quality and it's just, it's very exciting. I just saw the trailer and I, I lost my mind. I was like, is this real life or is this fantasy? Because Capcom with, with Mega Man, with now this Street Fighter compilation, who knows what else is on the horizon? Is there gonna be a Resident Evil compilation? Like there is just so much good going on in Capcom right now. They've really, you know, taken 2017, which has arguably been, you know, a bit of a rocky year for them. They released Resident Evil 7 at the start of the year, which was a great game. And then the middle of the year was just kind of weak for them. They're short of, they're really showing that in 2018, they're gonna be taking things seriously. Now this compilation will release in May on all platforms. And I'm really excited for it. I honestly can't wait. This is now climbing up my list of most anticipated games for next year. And I can't wait to see more from this. You know, I, I'm just so thrilled that this is happening. You guys know I'm a huge Street Fighter fan and this is just, this is an early Christmas gift to me. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this compilation. If you think that this is priced right, assuming that it's gonna be $60, I'm sure it will be. They're also adding in artwork and sprite characters and stuff like that. All sorts of little trinkets for Street Fighter fans who wanna get, you know, more out of their stuff, you know, with character animations and whatnot. There's gonna be a whole art gallery, which is super cool. Hopefully they do it for all of the games because a lot of those games have a unique, you know, distinct art style, especially when you look at like the first Street Fighter, which that's crazy to think about. The first Street Fighter game is finally being released on more platforms than just, you know, the turbo graphics. So that's, that's, just, that's just awesome, you know? I'm just so thrilled about this compilation. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below if you plan on picking it up because I will be getting it day one. That's a no brainer. If I can't get a review copy, I don't care. I'm buying it anyways because I'm thrilled for this. This is very exciting to me and I think it'll be exciting for a lot of you guys. So let me know what you think about everything in the comments section down below. Thank you for checking out this video. As always, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Take it